Let's look at a couple other patches that are going to be useful in a dubstep context. In my browser, I have another one called uh, a Reese Wobble. So this is kind of a Reese sound with a bit of modulation. So it's a pretty much really common dubstep sound where you have this kind of thick, angry bass, and there's an LFO that's kind of controlling filter cutoff. Let's see how I did it, though. Um, if, I go to, if I go to the synth side, I see that LFO 5 is controlling filter cutoff, and I see that right here. Now, one common approach is to kind of use a knob to, ch to change the, um, the speed of that LFO. Instead, I use key position. So you can, you can grab this key tracking modulator and drop it on rate, and now each key will have a different LFO rate, which I, makes it really easy to play, right? If I play a low, a low note here, kind of moving slow, that one's moving fast, and that works great with octaves. Right? So that's just that's using key tracking to control LFO rate, which is a great possibility. Let's look at another patch we might we might see in something like this. This is a really interesting one that I've been he hearing a lot lately. I call it the rise and scream. And if I hit a knob, you get this kind of really kind of strange chord that's kind of modulating really fast. It's an interesting sound. It's great for a moment just to get some energy. Right? Um, and we hear that we're hearing this all the time just for a moment. So let's see how this patch, kind of what's important for it to go together. If I go to the synth aspect here, we really see I'm not doing much at all. The filters are both off. Um, I'm just using the oscillators all three of them. The trick here is I'm using a single uh, envelope, envelope one, to control the pitch on all of these oscillators. And the cool thing is we actually make the max amount different. So um, envelope one is controlling this up two octaves, this one up 17 semitones, and this one up 20 semitones. So the note will start kind of unison, but if you hold it, it goes up and spreads out into a chord, which is an interesting sound. All right? Now, to get that wobbly pitch, I've actually used the vibrato section in the oscillator tab. And the beauty of this is I don't need to use one of my LFOs to change the pitch. I can just use this vibrato section, which is built in. And here we see the vibrato section. Um, I'm using the internal envelope on both depth and rate. So if I was to turn this off just by right-clicking, and saying mute, I'm saying these mo this modulation isn't going to happen. I play a note, it's kind of a just steady tone, and you hear that chord. But I've taken the chance to take this internal envelope and apply it there and there. And we'll just unmute these modulators. And you can hear now when it gets to the top, it'll start kind of wobbling. Now the beauty of using this internal envelope is they don't start the vibrato right away. If I increase the attack, you'll hear it'll come in, and then it'll start vibrating. So the longer I wait, the, the, the faster it's going to get. So you can really kind of determine just how, fa just how soon it's going to start vibrating like that. Maybe that's not fast enough. So the trick here is to have this envelope, it ramps up but also that one does, and you need to kind of coordinate them so that they work out just right, gets to the top and starts vibrating. I think that's pretty good. And the one other thing I've done with this is apply a macro control to all the oscillators so I can get even higher, kind of even go crazy with it. So I've taken macro control three, which I've named Screamer, and just applied it to the oscillator pitch for all of these. So now I can take that one, which is gonna be my third macro control, and go even crazier with it, right? So that might even be kind of a climactic moment, a big scream up top. So those are some patches that are really cool in dubstep context. And, um, you know, there, there are just so many variations. It really is about being creative um, with these things. That should get you started.